So um, the first question I have for you tonight is, did you anticipate 2022 being a pivotal year for Star Citizen? I did not. Uh, I know that they had been spending the last four years or so struggling with their server client. Mm -hmm. And after, even after 314 playing the game for a while, mm -hmm. I, I could see that everything else was being reined in because they couldn't run because of their, 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 their server mechanics mm -hmm. weren't right. up to the doing what they needed it to do. Their database mm -hmm. wasn't able to, uh, be fast enough or, or, or capable enough to do what needed to be done. Mm -hmm. And so um, I really didn't think that they were going to be going anywhere anytime soon. I was uh, doubting that they actually had the technical skill to be able to pull it off. Mm -hmm. They weren't going to, you know, and then um, 317 came out and the, the, they did a lot of improvements there. And what what really cinched it for me was the letter, and right. um, you know, in that letter, he's talked about the persistent uh, entity streaming, and that they had actually tested it and got it to work, mm -hmm. and uh, how they were aiming for serving meshing, and they were going to have it in the PT in three eighteen for a while testing it, mm -hmm. and uh, that really um, impressed me as far as. Uh, mm -hmm what the future might hold. And it impressed me enough that I went out and bought a uh, Carrick with real world money. Nice. So. Yeah, it, it, it's um, me, myself too, man. I, I'm, I'm very impressed with uh, the fact that they're, you know, and, and usually when we hear about big things coming, right? Usually we always hear that it's, oh, maybe it's next year or maybe it's the next three patches, the next four patches, right? Like, I really like the fact that he announced it the patch before. You know, it's like, yeah. it's not, it's not somewhere in the distant future. It's like the very next thing. And I think that's, that was perfect timing for him, for them to drop it. And I, I like that they admitted that uh, I was the iCash the database mm -hmm. before was not up to the task and that they needed mm -hmm. a new setup, even though that announcement was probably a year or two later than it should have come out. Right. But, but that's marketing, you know, you've got to keep right. people faith and have faith in your game. Right. Um, and so now they've got the persistent entity streaming working. That's, that's the database that's going to allow them to have this, this persistence in the universe um with all these objects and be able to have a fast enough uh in in and out put on it to be able to uh be reactive enough to what it needs to do right 